sick, bro. Oh, that's staying in. <laughs> yes. And well, hey, folks, it's real Aussie with John Rutland and... The Dubinator. Fuck the, the end of this main event. Oh, no kidding. And look, but first, let's be honest. Let's be honest. For a six-match show, they kept the pace going pretty well. It didn't drag on until about the contract signing yep. and the main event. So I will give them credit for that. Of course, I have notes because seven concussions, at least. Probably more. Hmm? Um, right. Charlie looked fantastic. <clears throat> um, not that you would have ever guessed that I like Charlie Caruso. Paige, I feel bad that Paige can't wrestle anymore. I, mean, I also feel bad that she tries to pull off red lipstick. You, you're not pulling off red lipstick. That's not good. That's not good. It is not a good look for a lot of people. I can't pull off red lipstick. But that's also because I'm a dude. So <laughs> there's that. We shall we shall not drag this into a different into a different uh, deal. Um, Paige, don't do that. I mean, I'm sure the WWE's the makeup department's probably making them stop making. Do what Paige. you feel comfortable with. But <clears throat> I'm just. They gotta what? say my piece on that. Yeah, that's just my thing. Um, Gallows and Anderson versus Axel and Dallas. It was fine. It was yep. a throwaway match. The Revival are backstage. The Revival should have been part of this match. They can't even get on the fucking pre-show. That's bad. That, that, I mean, I, lo- I love. Can't the wait revival. to see them in SmackDown. God, right. How much better would that be? Superstar Shake Up. Put them there. Have them beat the New Day if the New Day beat the Usos at Fastlane. But we'll get to those predictions yeah. in a couple weeks. Women's Chamber starts off the show. Mm. Sonia, Mandy, Mickey, Alexa, Bailey, and Sasha in the Women's E Chamber, um, as I called it. Bailey and Sonia start out. That shows a lot of faith in Sonia, and that's good. Sonia did pretty well. Anyone find it funny that Sonia and Mandy was wear- were wearing white when they're part of a group that circles around a goth? <laughs> I mean, that is pretty funny, actually. I mean, that, 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 that's something that I That kind of makes us the, her the minority. <clears throat> is it because Sonia's tan? Is that it? Oh, it's because Paige is a minority because she's goth. Okay, I got it. Yes. I'm sorry. I tend to make bad jokes. I, I know. Occasionally. Often. Um, pretty much all the time. But Bailey and Sonya starting out, I thought Sonya did pretty well. Yeah. Good stuff. Bailey certainly did well, as, as is tradition. Mm-hmm. Bailey's, oh yeah, really good at the wrestling. Um, at Man- the wrestling. Yes. Mandy at number three. Sasha was at number four. Yep. Sasha's weave was at five. <laughs> yes. And um, then you had that Mandy was gone first because Mandy is not any good at this rest. She's just not. She's not. She's a project. Not from the projects. She's a developmental. And she's not really. She's not <sighs> that good. I mean, I'm. And she's neither developed nor shown that she's mental. True. I mean, the only thing that's developed is the fake tits she has. I'm just saying. That's the only reason she gets attention. Maybe she's nice. I'm sure she is. But, it, it well, it, which leads, of course, as you said, to my insult. She's not any good. She's not Trish Stratus. She's not Trish Stratus in 2000. Hmm. So. She's not Trish Stratus now. This is true. Trish- she can't get no Stratisfaction. <laughs> Mickey Yeager. But anyway. Just take some shots. So, um, Mandy gone first. Mickey did a really cool dive off the top. Off yeah. the top of the pod. Sony's gone second. Good stuff. So far, Sonya did pretty well. Of course, Mandy being the first eliminated from the Women's Royal Rumble. Because, and, surprise! Yeah, and the first eliminated from the Women's Chamber. Someone had to break the ice and had to be the sacrifice. This is true. This is true. And then, so, again, Sasha yep. S- Sasha doing pretty well. Mickey gone third. So it comes down to Alexa. Alexa S- Biss? Yes. Oh, God, that was, so, that was such a great one. <laughs> Alexa, Sasha, and yep. Bailey. And I thought that was some pretty good stuff. The Bailey Sasha stuff was a really good dynamic. Alexa running away, climbing. That was a really big height for her. Of course, and again, two feet off the ground is a big height for her. Mm. But it was good. She's been looking for a pot of gold. (laughs) Did I hornswoggle that conversation? You did. You did. But you know what? That's fine. Um, Good stuff though with Sasha going full heel. Her hair going half heel. Um, and back, back on her head. Yes. Yeah, her hairline was receding faster than Baron's. And that's saying something because Sasha still has some hair, kind of. Um, I still like the brilliant storytelling. I think the idea, they could turn it into a clusterfuck at Mania and have it be like a five-way match. Bailey and Sasha in the match. Because they're going to make Raw, they're going to make Mania about 7,000 hours. Yep. So they might as well put good matches in there. Bailey, though, is gone. 
And then Sasha's gone, Alexa retains. I like that. Excellent. It was really, really good stuff. And, you know, having Sasha hit, like, part of the door of the pod. Yeah. That was adorable. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> I really shouldn't be, but Alexa getting the win. Full on heel, crying and crying, saying this is for all. It's a, This is such a great, this is a great moment. And believe you can achieve. And then just goes full on heel about Vegas. And by the way, I want to say something about so Vegas. everyone here, <clears throat> you'll never accomplish it. <laughs> right. I want to say something about Vegas really quick. I mean, because they did this throughout the night. But Vegas playing with a beach ball. I hope that everybody that brought the beach ball. Yeah, you can twirl on that. I hope you lose your life savings at the casinos because you guys are jackasses. I think they just need to keep Cesaro in the crowd. Yeah. Have some, yeah, have Cesaro go out there and rip. In all seriousness, okay, the life savings thing, maybe a bit too harsh, but sorry. You guys are dicks. You guys shouldn't have bought tickets if you were just going to bring a beach ball. The post-mania crowd, get, the post-mania crowd, post-SummerSlam crowd, get a pass. Because they usually are really passionate fans from around the globe. And it's they, usually a lot of recaps. Yes. But they also get to have fun. They add to the show. This did not add to the show. This was not good. The fans were real dicks here. And by the way, the show wasn't bad. It just wasn't great. Yeah. The Women's Chamber, though, was fine. It, I was, don't... it was a great start to what yeah. will be hopefully a tradition. Yes. I didn't like the pads, though, around the ring. I get that you want to make the wrestlers safer. You know, want to make it safer for the wrestlers. Yeah. But you might as well put a McDonald's ball pit in there. That would have been hilarious. That, it, I would have loved that. For I would have actually. Braun, Braun the elim- popping the, out yeah. of the ball pit. The Elimination Chamber mm. of fun. I mean. <laughs> but the ball pit wouldn't quite work very well because of the fact that there's a chain link. This is true. This is true. I mean, everyone's balls would drop. Looks like you really dropped the ball. ball. Yes. Yeah, so, speaking. Uh, and then we go to Titus and Apollo versus the bar in a tag title match. And hey, and Apollo is good at wrestling. Apollo's really good at wrestling. Titus but not getting a win. No, Titus was also there. And, yeah, Sheamus. Sheamus should have stabbed people with his hair. This was most definitely a cool-down match. This was a cool-down match for sure. The bar won. Eh. I can't say it was terrible, but it was something you could have seen all wrong. Mm-hmm. Cool-down match for sure. And then Asuka versus Nia. Don't worry, I was fine when Asuka made her entrance. No, no not at all. He's never fine. I, no. If Nia wins, she is added to the Mania 34 match. And oh god, Nia squashing Oscar, squashka. I'm gonna make that a make that a tradition. Okay. It's a really dumb joke. I know. But anyway, um, Oscar getting the win literally out of nowhere. I mean, it was a really cool finish. This is probably the best Nia's looked in a singles match, but that's not saying much because she's not that exciting. And maybe <clears throat> maybe it's because she doesn't have a direct competitor, nor has she been pushed in such a way. That would make her convincing as a monster. Right. And you don't... She isn't. She no. She's tapped out. She's been pinned by almost everybody on the women's roster. Right. She's like the literal opposite of Braun Strowman. And it's not that a monster losing is bad, but it's the way Nia's lost. Oh, yeah. Now, don't get me wrong. Nia beating up Asuka afterwards. I've had a feeling that Nia was going to get added to the match anyway. Yeah. So, Nia doing that and doing that barricade spot... Um, Okay, whatever. And then almost beaning the ref with part of the barricade. Good Damn. job there, Nia. Mexican announcers. Oh, God, they were close. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Carlos. Oh, Ladies God. Ladies and gentlemen, Chris Manalastis, professional making John break down in laughter. Yes, yes, it's great. And uh, it, was, it was it was a good spot. This was, again, the best match of Nia. Best match of Nia's had in a while. She did have a good performance in that raw gauntlet and then tapped out to Sasha because, you know, of course, right? That was stupid. But this was a good singles match. Yes. I wasn't against this one. Now, then you go to Bray versus Matt. This was an odd one, yes. as to be expected. Yeah. The beginning started off great with the back and forth between Bray and Matt. Bray, like, appears in the ring and Matt's already gone. <laughs> and then Matt just jumps off the stairs after a bit. It would have been great if Matt That, that had... singing. Yeah. That was great stuff. Yeah. And then it got to the match, and look, I feel bad for Matt, but he can't really move anymore. Uh, And I think one of the other things, too, with WWE is they do play it far safer than New Japan and Ring of Honor. Um, There's nothing wrong with that given their schedule. If they they let some of these wrestlers loose, maybe some people in their older age may not have to feel as restrained in their movement because, you know. Right. People can take a fucking bump every now and then. 
The thing is, though, is with WWE's schedule, if WWE had a Ring of Honor and New Japan schedule, and that's one thing about New Japan's schedule, and I just want to go off on a little tangent here, they give some time... No, 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 it's not a bad tangent. They give some people some time off. <laughs> like, their next show, New Japan's next show that's televised on their streaming service, well, not televised, but on their streaming service, is going to be the 6th of March. Their last one was the 24th, with some Ring of Honor stars. Um, check out my reviews, by the way. I'm doing some Ring of Honor reviews. And by the way, check out the Derbs NXT reviews. Um, it's a whole new Derb. A whole new... I, Der- a new, a whole new hat for you to see. <laughs> there we go. But back to Bray and Matt. Matt winning was a little shocking. Because I was like, okay. I mean, I'm not against it, but they needed to go full mental here. They need to have Jeff show up. They're still going to build... Why not? They're going to build to the final, like, their own final deletion. Yeah. And it's going to happen on Raw. Some of it's going to happen on Raw. The rest of it, a great war will happen at Mania. And at the Hardy Compound. Yes. And that's fine. And maybe we'll have, like, our own little House of Horrors again. Maybe without the dilapidated... But hopefully with the fridge. Yes. The dilapidated fridge. Yes. <coughs> Follow um, the buzzards. What does that even mean? You haven't even told us what the buzzards are fo- telling us to follow them to. Yes. True. Enough. There's a lot of there's a lot of loose threads there with, you know, Bray, but... Yeah. I had a towel with a lot of loose threads. I had to throw it yeah. away. So, Matt winning, I wasn't opposed to it, but it's like, I get that it's building. The crowd really did take it out because the crowds were dicks. <laughs> now, we are the tired. Ronda, the Ronda Rousey contract signed. Ronda, learn to put a fucking mic in front of your face and talk. Yeah. I know you were probably nervous. She no, when when you yeah. go and talk into a microphone in front of a stadium, you may want to put your mouth a little closer. Yeah. And project. As you were saying, project. I get that it was her first time, or of course her first time. First times are usually a bit ner- bad. I know what you said, and we'll get to that in a minute. But and I get the run it was nervous. She did do a really good job on the promo of in the part where she honored Roddy Roddy Piper. That was good. The rest of it was really a hot mess. They, they need to put her on a bunch of house shows and have her kind of talk to the crowd. True. I mean, that wouldn't be bad. That wouldn't be bad to have her be on some. Maybe not all, but some at least. A raw crowd might do a little better. Something like that. Mm-hmm. This may have not been the best thing, but of course you had Kerr, Triple H, and Stephanie there. Stephanie, the fucking cunt bane of existence. It's, yeah, and also speaking to people who can't pull the <clears throat> promo anymore. Uh, Stephanie. And Kurt. Oh, Kurt. I, I love Kurt, but he should not talk. He, he didn't have the charisma to really pull off that. But didn't you say something about... Yeah, he he's implying that what's going to happen is it's, it's like basically the Stephanie and Triple H after Mania 31 decided to get them, decided to get Ronda Rousey in the company just as a way to have her, have her under their thumb. Not that WWE would ever do that. I'm just going to mention Goldberg in 2003 for no reason. <clears throat> Which, to be fair, Goldberg wasn't much of a Whew. guy there. Yes. Mm. Table spot for Triple H. That was kind of cool. Yep. Um, I mean, it wasn't he bad. Was bleeding. Making him. The victor. It was a bit of a mess. It went on a bit too long. Yes. A bit. But it did serve its purpose, and it came across a lot better than I thought. And, of course, you had um, Stephanie, I assume, tried to slap the mole off of uh, Rousey's face or something. But anyway... Um, and then Rhonda just, 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 no selling the hell out of it. Yep. And that's, okay, is it going to be great? No, I don't want to see Stephanie in a match, but you know what? This is the hand we're dealt with, so let's see what happens. I can't say the same for the main event. The women's division needs a real authority figure amongst them, and right now, Stephanie McMahon is incapable of pulling that off. Yes, Stephanie is terrible. She's proven that several times. Multiple, as would be several. Um, I mean, she's a heel in real life. I don't know why she can't pull it off in fake life. Yeah, I mean, she can't cut a promo one bit. (laughs) Charities are the new marketing. Yeah, the philanthropy thing or whatever the hell she said. Now we go to the men's chamber. The first ever seven men chamber. Yeah. Rollins, Balor, Cena, Miz, Reigns, Elias, and Braun. Miz, Rollins, and Balor start out. Balor doing his best Blue Tista impression. (laughs) Blue Tista, be honest, you wish you forgot too. Good stuff. Yes. Good match between these guys. Miz being a perfect dick heel. Getting scared of Braun, like, you know, the fact that Braun could easily break out of his chamber. Yep. Cena out second. Reigns out third. Braun out fourth. Before anybody's eliminated. And then 
Cena, I mean, Cena, had, Cena <sighs> just seems like he's just been there most of the matches he's been in. And I'm not knocking Cena. Um, I have in the past, but it's like now it's felt like he's just there, just Phil's contract. Yeah. That or <clears throat> he may be building to something. Oh, God, they're going to have him face Taker, aren't they? Or do Healy Healy things. Or Healy things. I mean, him fa- him facing Elias. I can pull a Healy. <clears throat> Helium. Anyway. Um, <laughs> or, or the opposite of him. Oh, boy. So. Well, that's when you sound like you're a demon. <clears throat> the higher ground. So, when Miz- you get low, Shorty. you know what I know. Shorty got low, low. I promise never man, to say the man, word Shorty man, you, again. You so white. <laughs> I promise never say the word Shorty again. I should probably stop saying Shorty. Miz gone first. Braun just starts straight up murdering everybody. Yes. And it was great. He beat him. Elias was gone really, really quick. Elias was in the match for three minutes. I mean, give him some credit. It was his first time. Oh, God, he gave his guitar too hard of a plucking. It went off. So, anyway, Elias gone, Cena gone, yes. Balor gone. Yep. It's like, and I mean, it. there was, of course, spots where Cena, Balor, Rollins, and Reigns were trying to team up. And every time anybody, or every time anybody hit a move on Braun, some anytime, people hopped. everybody, anytime, everybody. Yeah. Any, any, I don't any, know any, what any, the any, hell any. I was saying there. When Reigns hit a move, oh, God, booze, booze forever. Because yeah. Vegas... Boo was, this man. Boo him. Yeah. Boo this man. And so Rollins gone fifth. And then, well, Rollins did a cool frog splash before out the pod. That was pretty cool. He didn't hurt his knee. That's good. Mm-hmm. Um, I was really scared. And then Braun broke a pod. And then Reigns won. Roman wins, lol. And then Braun lays him out with two power slams afterwards. One, Braun was a beast in this match, so I will give yeah. him credit for that. I am just going to take aim directly at this. WWE, we've been telling you for three fucking years that we don't want Roman Reigns. The vast majority of fans. You, you haven't built him correctly. No. You haven't pushed him correctly. Anytime you thought you were building him correctly, you pulled the rug out from under him and went right back to the same thing. You figured it out with gender that that push wasn't working. I don't know how you're not seeing this with Roman. Is Roman better than gender? Clearly. Oh, yeah. Well, definitely. Is, is he a money? Is he a money making machine? Kinda. I mean, the, even though ticket sales are down, I'm he's got fa- the look and not much else. Yeah, that's really it. I mean, it's not that he is. You got the look. Yeah, you got the look. That song by Roxette. Now it's in my head. Had to click it off so I can finish this rant. Guys, just seriously, this is ridiculous. Guys, this is ridiculous. It's like Braun. And I know something about ridiculous. <laughs> Braun should have won. Because yes. the reason, one, he would have been right, um, and Braun should have won because Braun versus Lesnar, even though we've seen it in a couple matches before, was more compelling. Sure, the end result wasn't so compelling, but it was more compelling than Lesnar. Sorry, Lesnar versus Reigns just wasn't that good. Nope. Now, was it terrible? No, it was 100% better than I thought it was going to be, especially after, after Seth cashed in. Yeah, well, no. That too, but up to that point, the match was 100% better than I expected it to be. But I expected it to be ass. It, I'm going to, I mean, I'm going to be honest, this ending really pissed me off. Because it proves that WWE, oh, we're going to give you Nakamura versus Styles, we'll give you some other stuff. We're going to give you Reigns versus Lesnar. It's a C plus. Yeah, C plus. No, that's it. I mean, that's that's the best I'll do. If Braun had won, I might have given this a B plus. It drops it a full grade because you don't want to fucking listen Mm. And you're going to give us this match that no one cares about. Now, to be fair, what their viewpoint is on Braun being defeated here, yeah. he did take every single competitor's finisher. True. And then a lot of abuse afterwards. It, it literally took six Everything. people to take him down. True. But. But in the end, it was still the wrong decision to have Roman win. Because the crowd wasn't, you could almost hear pins dro- pins drop when Reigns got in the chamber, or got into the match. I mean, like some boos, but you know. Yeah. It just you want fan apathy. You're gonna get fan apathy. I'm not saying cancel WWE Fan-pathy. Network. Yes, there we go. Fapathy. That was me during the women's chamber match and the Oscar match. Not on the couch. You should probably stop spying on the women's chambers. <laughs> Oh, the cam- I'm supposed to turn the cameras off, right? Um, just, just it, guys, this ended on a sour note. Now, we knew it was coming. 
but you had a chance and you failed. Now you better put a hell of an undercard and you better put Nakamura versus Styles in the main event. Because Reigns versus Lesnar in the main event is a bad idea. It's going to bore everyone. They're going to put it in the main event, aren't they? They're probably going to. Yes. Yeah, it's the Universal Championship, which means less than <clears throat> the storied history of the WWE. heavyweight championship. So, you know. So they'll naturally do that just to get Reigns over and piss us off. Yes. Anyway, C+. Plus. So do you agree? Do you disagree with what we said? Like, share, comment, subscribe, Twitter links, thumbnail for that guy in the description. It's been Real Honesty with Charmithlin and... The Dominator. We will be back tomorrow. Yes. For Raw. To get raw. Wait. Gross. Ro Roska. Red vision. Red dead vision. Jesus. No, this is dead vision. <laughs>